Now it's been confirmed that Marlon Humphrey is out for the remainder of the year with a torn pec. Um, so, of course, this comes to no surprise to anybody um, because, again, when Harbaugh, the Harbaugh act for him to actually have spoken on the injury right after a game, which he never does, and for him to say that somebody's going to be out for a while, like he'll usually be like, oh, yeah, it's week to week. Oh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah, he'll give some general answer because he don't like getting into the, the specifics. But for him to say that, yeah, we knew that this was on the way. And that's a huge blow for the Ravens. Huge blow for the Ravens. And we, we talked about all the repercussions of this and whatnot. Uh, Harbaugh did say in the presser today that Chris Westry could be back. Uh, Seymour could be back soon. So we'll see what happens this week in practice starting on Wednesday. But... Something that I wanted to talk about um, is that I've been seeing some weird stuff uh, when it comes to the injuries. Some of it is warranted, but some of it is like, what? Because I, I, obviously the Ravens have an, another one with Marlon Humphrey, but the Ravens have dealt with so many injuries alone, but then so many injuries to so many key people this year. Now... Um, I have seen people say, hey, our strength and conditioning coach needs to be fired. Even Matt Judon has said the Ravens strength and conditioning coach needs to be fired. He has said that on Twitter like a couple of months ago. But so that one, when people say that, it's like, oh, OK, all right, whatever. That's fine. But but then I see people say that EDC should be fired. And I'm like, what? How? I don't understand and because people like people will say, oh, he didn't prepare the team enough for these injuries. And uh, and y'all know me. I am not no Homer. I ain't got no purple shades on. And if the Ravens do something that I don't like, yeah, I will gladly let you all know, let them know, say it. But say it with respect, of course. But to say EDC should be fired because of injuries that just doesn't make any sense to me because let me take you back let me take you back uh to this off season i remember it was it was so crazy man and i i couldn't believe it because and i was saying it's crazy that the only question mark that the ravens had on the team was that pass rush and I was saying that it's not even that the pass rush is bad. It's just we just don't know how it's going to be because all we had was Tyus Bowser and Tyus Bowser was going to be getting an increased role because Matt Judon, he went to the Patriots, Unique Ngakwe, he went to the Raiders, Jihad Ward, he went to the Jaguars, I think. I forgot where Jihad Ward went, but either way. A lot of the Ravens pass rushes from the previous year, they were gone. So Tyus Bowser role was going to increase a lot. So there was just a lot of unknowns with that. Another big unknown that we had was Adafe away. Adafe away is a rookie. He's a rookie. First round draft pick, but still a rookie. So very raw. He hasn't played in the league before. He's making that jump from Penn State in college to playing with the big boys now. And that's a big jump. It's not just such a smooth process for so many people. We've seen people struggle with it year in, year in and year out. But it was crazy because that was our only question mark. This roster was right. This roster was on point. It was like, let's go. Like, y'all, hey, do y'all realize how good of a roster this is? Like, people were saying, oh, man, this may be one of the best Ravens rosters ever. One of the best Ravens rosters ever. And that was constructed by the same guy who some people are saying now because this guy got hurt and that guy got hurt and that guy got hurt, that he should be fired? That's, that's crazy to me. Now, I y'all know I don't agree with every single move that the Ravens make. I don't agree with every single move that ADC and them make. I don't agree with every single move that they do. But to say that he should be fired for the injuries, I, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't get that. And also, when we were at that point, when we were saying, oh, man, this roster is so stacked. The only question that we have right now is with pass rush. What did the Ravens do? They ended up signing Justin Houston. And it was like, man, 
We didn't think the team could get much, that much better. We, we we didn't think that they could really get that significant of an upgrade at that point of the season. And they did. They did. And it was like, wow, that is crazy. It's crazy. So the team, like, this team was set, man. They was set. This roster from top to bottom. They had good starters and they had nice depth. Crazy depth. Now, I do give you, though, wish that the depth could have been a little better for the offensive line. But think about this. Think about it. Tyree Phillips, he was not slated to be a starter. But he started some games the previous season. And why it didn't look all that good? It was a COVID season and he was a rookie last year. So it was like, okay, he he now he now has starting experience in the NFL, but he'll be a backup. Oh, okay. That's depth. Patrick McCarry. Or McCary. I think it's McCary. I've been pronouncing his wrong name for years. My apologies, Pat. But Patrick McCary. He Somebody who's been starting since his rookie year, undrafted rookie free agent. And he came through, subbed in for Matt Scorer, did a phenomenal job. But then he ended up, he's a backup. He's a backup last year. Yeah, he came in and would fill in for some guys here and there on the interior of the offensive line. But this is somebody who he wasn't projected to be a starter this year. But it's like, oh, this guy can play center. He can play guard. Oh, he could probably play tackle too. Maybe if they gave him a shot, maybe he can. Who knows? But he was a backup. So it's like, okay, that's depth. What else? Did, who else did they have? They had Ben Bredesen. They traded him to the Giants after a while. But, and this is before preseason, but they end up, they had Ben Bredesen. They drafted uh, Ben Cleveland. So it's like, they had, and of course, the starters. They had Ronnie Stanley, Ben Powers, um, Ronnie Stanley, Ben Powers, Bradley Bozeman, Kevin Zeitler, and Alejandro Villanueva. So it's like they had the guys in place and they had some depth behind those guys. Yeah, they could have gotten some more depth. They could have, but they did have some depth. So this roster. Was It was constructed pretty good. But then injuries, they hit like crazy. And the, the, the roster over these past couple of months, they went to being one of the best rosters in the league, man. One of the best rosters in the league. To just being decimated with injuries. Now, um, for some people, one, some people reasoning that I've seen. Where they say EDC should be fired because of all the injuries. Because he wasn't aggressive enough in making trades to come on the team to help out. Now, I do. That is one thing that I do. EDC has been very aggressive, but to a point. He's been very aggressive, but to a point. And sometimes me, well, y'all know me, I'm very greedy when it comes to these Baltimore Ravens. And but I just feel like I, I would turn that ag aggression up another notch because with these draft picks, I know the, the Ravens, they love their draft picks so much. So sometimes they'll be a little hesitant to give up a draft pick. That would be one thing I would change. I do not think he should be fired at all, but that would be one thing that I would do differently. I would be willing to give up a little more for the draft picks. Like the Xavier and Howard move. I know, and, and I know what, what a lot of fans tend to do. They, um, they're like, oh, see, man, if we would have got Xavier and Howard, we could have had somebody ready for Marlon Humphrey. Nah, I, I do wish they would have got him. Ooh, that would have, oh, man, Marlon Humphrey and Xavier and Howard. And then I know some people, oh, but, but what about when Marcus Peters comes back? I said, okay, that's, that's a good problem to have. All those quality corners. Jimmy Smith getting ready to be out. Tavon Young, uh, I think he probably going to get ready, getting ready to be gone too. We'll see. But, and not because he's a bad player, but just because of the business, man. That's it, just because of the business. Just because of the business. But I, I would have loved for the Ravens to have had that problem. But with 
if he would have traded for somebody, and it ain't like it's not like it's Madden. I wish it was sometimes because on Madden I'd be wheeling and dealing in Madden, y'all. Like I I'd be making some moves, but uh, it's not Madden. So when the trade deadline was approaching, I didn't expect the Ravens to make two, three, four, five, six moves. That's stuff that I do on the Xbox. But in real life, the most I expected was maybe one. Maybe, if that. Maybe two, one, uh, but just maybe one. But then at the same time, my biggest question was, what, what player would really just change things for the Ravens? What player could have that big of an impact to where it really helps the Ravens that much? I know a lot of people saying running back, running back, running back, running back, running back. Do you not know what this offensive line is? And if they would have got a running back, okay, cool. And because I, I know you, you notice a big difference when you see Devontae Freeman run versus when you see Latavius Murray run. It's a big difference. Devontae Freeman, he sees a hole, try to shoot right through it. Latavius Murray, he sees a hole, he'll try to shoot right through it, but it's at a much slower pace. And you'll see it, you'll see you'll see these lanes. And you'll see him try he'll see the lanes and he try, but it's just he just does not doesn't have that burst like that. And then you see Tyson Williams sitting on the bench, but that's another story for another day. Um, so running back, I don't know what running back would have done, but it could have it could have been like a younger version of Devontae Freeman, young guy with bursts who see the holes and hit him. But that didn't happen. Obviously not wide receiver, offensive line, offensive lineman. That would have been something. But then you would have to think like, huh, if a team is really willing to get rid of their offensive lineman. Is he really that good? This would just be a question that you would have to ask yourself. Now, just because they get rid of him doesn't mean that he's sorry. He could just need a change of scenery, just not be getting playing time anymore. It could have been a starter before and then maybe got hurt or something and then somebody else took his spot. could have been anything. But it just, I wasn't sure. I wouldn't have been mad if the Ravens made any moves. But I just wasn't sure what that move could be that would help them that much more. So, but still, bottom line, EDC, he is not to fault for all these injuries. He, he's not. And, and when people say EDC should be fired, like I, I see people say some other people should be fired. And, oh, okay, well, uh, I can see your point with that. But, <laughs> but with EDC, nah, I, I, I can't get with that one. Because, again, this roster was amazing. Like, this roster was one of those, like, Pro Bowl rosters. This roster was like, uh, and we had a J.K. and Gus Edwards, too. Justice Hill, man. Obviously, Lamar Tyler Huntley. Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle. Josh Oliver, and again, offensive line. The secondary, the secondary was like, man, we got our, our, our backup. Well, not really backups, but our depth corners. Or Jimmy Smith, Anthony Avery. It's like, oh, and these guys, they started before. So it's like, oh, man. But we, of course, got Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters up front. Tavon Young, hopefully he'll be healthy this year. And he has been for the most part. Secondary. That, now, safety. Safety, that was a little question mark right there. Because it was just Deshaun Elliott and Chuck Clark. And then they got Brandon Stevens, who's a question mark. Hadn't played safety before. Geno Stone, they brought him back. They had Jordan Richards, Anthony Levine. I actually thought there was a chance that Anthony Levine might not even make it. But anyway, the Ravens, they uh, the roster was created. It was, it was done. They did a phenomenal job making this roster this year. But injuries just tore it apart. But again, that, that is no reason uh, for EDC to be fired at all. So just wanted to touch on that. Um, Cause that was something that had been on my mind. Cause I, I just I, I seen it a lot. Whenever the Ravens lose somebody to injury, I see that comment a lot, and it just I don't understand it, and I don't agree with it, and, and it just I don't get it. So that's that. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and just like EDC won't be saying anytime soon. I'm out. <laughs>